Hi, it's Joan. This week, I'd like to have a look at both stamen and transfers combined. There are many similarities and one or two important differences in these marvellous conventions. So both stamen and transfers happen after partner has opened one or two no trumps. Secondly, they show very wide ranging hands in terms of point count. A stamen hand, you might have no points at all, or you might have 18 points. Same with transfers, you might have zero or any number of points. The main thing is that when you make a stamen bid of two clubs over one note trump, or you transfer by bidding the suit underneath the suit you've really got, you're actually needing an answer from partner. So after that, you can show how strong or weak your hand is and what's the shape all about. We should be able to be very accurate with, with our bidding when we're using conventions like stamen and transfers. They don't interfere with each other either because two clubs or three clubs is always reserved for stamen. Then diamonds, hearts, spades, and in some cases no trumps, may be used for transfers. So they work very well together. And the difference, the main difference between stamen and transfers is that when partner bids two clubs and uses stamen, they're actually asking what the opener's got. But when you transfer, you're telling the opener what you've got to see if they can work in with you. So they're two marvellous ways of playing bridge and they're two marvellous conventions to be used with one no trump or two no trump openings. Try the hand I've given you and you can reach a great deal of accuracy with, with the bidding on this hand. February Zooms are coming up and I'm doing a beginner's course. So if you've got any friends who have not played bridge at all and who'd like to play and who want to learn online, I'm doing four lessons right from the very word go, from zero, where they know nothing, to hero, where they're bridge players. So have a look at our um, dates for those. We're doing an hour beginner's course and then the students will be able to go on to real bridge to actually practice some hands. Uh, that should be fun. And then I'm doing two Zoom courses uh, in February on Monday and Wednesday mornings. And they are, in bidding, major suit raises. Do we bid two of partners major, three of partners major, four of partners major? Or how do we show partner what sort of hand we've got? It's a very important area of the bidding. And the other set of Zoom courses that I'll be doing is about weak hands. What you can do with weak hands and how you can ruin the other side's bidding if you've got a weak hand with a long suit. Because COVID is still affecting our lives, we're adding another BBO game to our Tuesday and Saturday game collection and that is a Thursday at one o'clock Sydney time. There's a game you can bring your partner or come without a partner if you like. You need to go to the partnership desk and three BBO games as well as our real bridge game on Thursday nights. Have a good week everyone. Here's a nice hand with 5332 shape. 16 high card points plus an extra point for the fifth diamond, so it's balanced, we would open one no trump. And partner is transferring to hearts, so we accept the transfer. They've promised that they have at least five hearts in their hand, and they'll tell us more about their hand in the next round of the bidding. Now they've said three hearts. This means they must have six hearts, at least, and it's an invitational bid. They can't quite bid four hearts themselves. They wonder if we can. Well, we've got three hearts to the queen, plus we're in the maximum range for the one no trump, so we would accept the invitation and go to game. Four hearts. And
and we have in terms of losers two heart losers the ace and the king no spade losers because we've got the ace and the king and we can trump the two no club losers because we've got the ace and the king and it's a doubleton and we don't know about the diamonds we don't know where the diamond king or the jack is so if the king and the jack and the ten are sitting over the queen we might have two diamond losers so we've got to hope that that is not the case is there any reason not to draw trumps on this hand no so immediately start playing trumps if you notice we've got the trumps from the five right up through to the queen so it doesn't matter if we play the seven the eight or the queen they're all the same value and we win the spade and continue hearts all the hearts are gone now because they were breaking two two win the club it would be a good idea now to trump the spade just to get rid of our spades and come back to the club king and now we need to broach diamonds so we'll play the ace and play a low diamond because we're missing the king jack ten nine we need to find an honor ah there's the king our worries are over we could trump the spade all the tricks are ours we've got the queen of diamonds and two trumps so when partner transferred they promised at least five hearts when they raised hearts they showed six 